Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zatar Gardens. Hi Lulu. Let me show you an experiment I did in, I believe it was February, when I cut three trees down. There's one right here, one stump, another one, and another one right over there next to the Centronella plant. So there was a little bit of an issue of the tree removing company saying they would have to tear down part of my fence to get the tree grinder in my backyard to stump grind these uh, stumps. So I said, well, that's a little bit too much. I said, is there any way I could do it myself? And also, will they grow back? And they said, no, they shouldn't grow back, which they didn't, so that's good. So then they said that there's a few things you could do um, that will degrade them over time. One was you could just buy the stump remover powder you could buy at a hardware store. Another way they said that it may work is Epsom salt. They said those are the main ones. Other than that, you just burn it, but I couldn't burn it because I have my fence here, my neighbor's house over here. You know, I did have plants over here. I have my patio over here. I don't want to set a fire right on the floor like I did in my front yard with the tree stump in the front. I'll put up a card on the screen right now so you can watch that video of how I pretty much almost got all of it gone burned all of it down but the problem was neighbors started looking and I started getting anxious so I put out the fire but more than half of it burnt down to the ground okay now to the experiment this tree stump I put the tree stump remover you could buy at a hardware store this tree stump I put Epsom salt and covered it like they said I just basically put a bucket on top of it so no rainwater gets in the holes where the Epsom salt was. So those were the two they told me to do, like the two ways. And I said, I wonder if there's another way. I have an old tree stump that went all the way down to the ground. It took years to degrade, but it finally went all the way down to the ground over in this location. I'll put a card on the screen right now to show you how much that degraded and how great the soil that it created was around it and the mushrooms were amazing around that tree. So nature does it best, but nature takes way too long. And this one here, I put my own little mix in it. You can see it's really dark colored. I put sugar and coffee grounds. So, and I brought in wood chips that already had like mycelium all over it. I put it in this location and covered this as well. So remember that I started doing this in February. Um, I don't see that much progress with this stump. This was the tree stump remover powder form you could buy at the local hardware store. I could have drilled more holes, but I don't think it would have even really mattered. Um, I didn't really see much activity at all. Uh, it's not even breaking down that much. It's even around where the hole was, it's not even breaking down. Just a little bit of a crack. That's it. The tree stump with Epsom salt seemed like it degraded more compared to the first one. Uh, there's more cracks and a lot of the bark fell off a lot easier. All right, now the coffee and sugar tree stump. I still drilled holes in this one, but this had the most activity out of all tree stumps, not just natural activity like insects and uh, mushrooms and so forth. But like all of the bark just wants to come right off with I, when I use a little screwdriver, it just pops right off. There's also a lot of growth. It's being eaten away. This used to be a perfect circle right here. Now you can see it's being eaten away by something. And it's soft to the touch. It has a little bit sponginess, just a little bit. So sugar and coffee, interesting. I did this around February, it is now September, so the tree stump remover powder from the hardware store, I don't really see any activity. The Epsom salt, a little bit, but not much more than the tree stump remover powder. But the coffee and sugar, now that was interesting, but still slow. The real way, I guess, to remove stumps if you don't want to wait forever is to grind them down, burn them down if you can, getting an ax and chopping it down if you can, or hire someone to do that. 
if you can't get a grinder in that location easily like myself in my opinion and my experience tree stump remover powder waste of time and money epsom salt waste of time and money sugar and coffee pretty cool experiment just to see the result of it but still takes way too long happy gardening everyone okay like share subscribe and thanks for watching everyone